Our Kids, The American Dream in Crisis, by Robert D. Putnam delves deep into the growing inequality and social divisions in contemporary American society. Through a mix of compelling personal stories, extensive research, and insightful analysis, Putnam paints a vivid picture of the obstacles that hinder the realization of the American dream for many children today. He argues that this crisis not only threatens the well-being of these kids, but also the very fabric of American society itself. Putnam's book is structured around a core argument, that the American dream, traditionally characterized by the belief that with hard work anyone can achieve upward social mobility and success, is now severely compromised. He explores how this dream is slipping out of reach for a significant portion of the population, primarily those growing up in disadvantaged environments. One of the strengths of Putnam's analysis is his use of real-life stories to illustrate the challenges faced by American children from different socioeconomic backgrounds. By grounding his argument in the experiences of individuals, he humanizes the statistics and brings the issue to life. For example, he introduces us to Kayla, a girl growing up in a low-income neighborhood who faces countless obstacles on her path to success. Through her story, Putnam highlights the disparity in opportunities, resources, and support available to children like Kayla compared to those born into more privileged circumstances. Putnam's research is thorough and comprehensive, drawing on a wide range of data sources, including surveys, studies, and historical trends. He carefully presents this data to support his argument, making his book a valuable resource for those interested in the intersection of social policy, education, and inequality. However, he avoids overwhelming the reader with numbers, using statistics judiciously to strengthen his points. One of the key areas Putnam explores is the impact of family structure on a child's life chances. He argues that the breakdown of the traditional family structure and the rise of single-parent households have created significant challenges for children. Putnam points out that children raised in single-parent homes are more likely to face economic hardship, experience emotional and behavioral issues, and have a diminished chance of achieving the American dream. He emphasizes the importance of strong family support systems in a child's development and laments the erosion of these systems in many communities. Furthermore, Putnam highlights the unequal access to quality education, a critical factor in a child's prospects for success. He discusses the disparities in funding, teacher quality, and educational resources between schools in affluent and disadvantaged neighborhoods. Putnam argues that the quality of a child's education is largely determined by their zip code, reinforcing the divide between the haves and have-nots in America. He points to the educational achievement gap as a manifestation of this problem, as children in impoverished areas often receive a subpar education that limits their future opportunities. Putnam also addresses the issue of social capital, the networks, and relationships that can provide individuals with opportunities and support. He shows how children from affluent backgrounds tend to benefit from strong social networks that offer guidance and connections, while those in disadvantaged communities lack access to such resources. This disparity in social capital can be a significant barrier to upward mobility. While Putnam provides a comprehensive and compelling analysis of the crisis facing America's children, some critics argue that he places too much emphasis on individual choices and family structures as the primary drivers of inequality. They contend that the role of broader economic and political forces is downplayed in his narrative. Additionally, some have suggested that Putnam's solutions, such as encouraging volunteerism and community engagement, may not be sufficient to address the systemic issues at the root of the problem. In conclusion, Our Kids, The American Dream in Crisis, offers a poignant and deeply researched examination of the challenges facing American children today. Robert D. 
Putnam's blend of personal stories and data-driven analysis provides a compelling narrative of the growing inequality in American society. He sheds light on the role of family structure, education, and social capital in determining a child's future, emphasizing the need for collective action to address these issues. While some may critique his emphasis on individual choices, the book serves as a valuable resource for anyone interested in the complex web of factors contributing to the crisis of the American dream. It urges us to confront the pressing issues of inequality and social division that threaten not only the well-being of our kids but also the future of the American dream itself.